So today, we've got ourselves a new MacBook Air. This is the new M2 processor MacBook Air. We're gonna be opening it up, and then we'll transfer all the data from an old MacBook Air to the new MacBook Air. We're gonna be showing you the process to do the full transfer of all the data, all of your save files, your photos, your movies, your settings, the whole lot. You're gonna need two things, your old laptop, your new laptop. They're essentially both gonna connect out to your network, so it's best to have a Wi-Fi network, and then we transfer the data between the two. Before we do get into this, my name is Emilio. I release videos every week on all things tech. Love it if you subscribed as well. Click on the button and on the bell so that you don't miss anything. two Macs next to each other, switched on, your right one being your new one, your left one being your old one. You wanna go into your left one, logged in, and go down to the applications and into the utilities area, and then we're gonna open up an application called the Migration Assistant. And this application is gonna let you actually do the transfer of the data. You need to have this running on your old computer. On your new computer, just go through those initial steps in some basic setup of your computer, including your language. You then connect your computer to your Wi-Fi network to actually get it on the Wi-Fi. Migration Assistant will open up on that right computer and we're gonna select from a Mac. This will then put that computer into an almost waiting state, waiting for you to commence the Migration Assistant on your old computer, ready to transfer that information. On your old computer where all your data sits, you then click on that continue, throw in your password, and then we can actually start the migration. From here, we're gonna to select to another Mac because we're gonna migrate from the old Mac to the new Mac. As soon as we do that, you'll notice that the old Mac has appeared on the right Mac screen. Making sure that the name is accurate, you're gonna select that Mac. You will then get a code making sure that that code matches up. The code should be exactly the same. That means that the computer is in sync. And then you click on the continue and then the transfer of information will begin. Your new Mac is essentially discovering all of the data. It's populating a catalog of all of the files as well as how big those files and folders are. This will take a little bit of time depending on how much data you've got. You'll get a summary of everything that you have in there. You can actually go and now untick or tick specific sections that you wanna be able to transfer. You don't have to do everything, but if you do everything, then of course you'll have an exact copy, but only transfer the data that you want to move over. Once you've selected all of your data, we can then select continue, and then the full transfer of all the data will commence from your old Mac over to your new Mac. On your new computer, you're gonna set the password that you want for this new profile to have. Of course, this is the password that you'll use to log in to your computer. The transfer will now commence and you'll see that the icon is showing the transfer of the data from your old Mac over to your new Mac. Once that is done, you'll then be able to log in to your new Mac and all of your data will be there. So they were the steps and if you love tech, why don't you click on that subscription button on the bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Thanks for checking this video out. We'll see you next time.